Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome to the channel. I am said Stevie. Knife maintenance week continues, and today I'm going to be doing some maintenance and disassembly on my tactile knife company, uh, Rockwall Thumb Stud and Magnacut. Is that focusing there? There it is. Uh, this is another uh, Blade Show pickup. Oh, and what's cool about this one is it's cooler than cue balls, and it's got Zerk studs on it. So, uh, messing with cue balls, rock wall on the way to Blade Show, uh, I decided I th really wanted to get one. And so, uh, when we got to the booth, uh, they had some available. Maddie picked one up, and he got the one. Uh, his is cooler than cue balls, too. Uh, he's got Timascus on the thumb studs. They had the regular one uh, that's, I don't know, I guess it's all right. It's the one that cue balls got. It's not that cool. Uh, but I wanted one cooler than cue balls, so I got the one with the Zerk studs. I don't have any uh, Zerk. And is Zerk, uh, is that Zirconium? Is that what that is? I don't even know. But yeah, uh, this is the, as you can see by the card of authenticity, Rockwall, uh, the Tactile Knife Company, Rockwall Thumb Stud, Titanium Scales, uh, Blade. This is a first for me, uh, my first Magna Cut. Uh, the HRC is 61, assembled by Jack Moss, and it was born on my birthday, 519.22. Yep, so this knife is a Taurus, just like said Stevie. So... I have carried this a fair amount, and uh, it is probably getting a little dirty, and I know that uh, this takes, um, you can put uh, skips in there, uh, I read on Skip's website that you can put 3 16th, 1 16th, 11 ball uh, rocket glides in there, so I figured, what the hell, I would uh, go ahead and um, do that, so... Uh, looks like all the hardware is on one side, so that's going to be the only side to take uh, apart. Grab my good screw basic beach. You know, uh, when I first unboxed this, I was like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's grown on me. I like it. And I just found out that you could put um, tritium inserts in there. I have zero intention on doing that because I'm never in a situation where there's total darkness and I need to go for my bit driver and I need some need it to be illuminated so I know where it's at. But I don't know. I guess that's cool if you wanted to do that. Uh, let's see. Pull out my Wii up bits here. I want to say that, yep, yeah, it's a T8. So let's get going on it. Um, this is a small but mighty knife. I think it definitely punches above its size. Uh, someone like myself that's got big old mitts. Oh, look at that. They're, you know, they're even machining their own um, uh, hardware. And I think that that's awesome. I don't know if these are titanium or... Yep, they're titanium. It's not sticking to the, uh, the magnet on my dapper ion. So uh, they're making all their own hardware even. So, uh, they do a good, uh, job with machining over there. Uh, this is, uh, they're at a, I don't remember exactly where in Texas they are, but, um, does it say on the box? It just says proudly designed, machined, and assembled in Texas. I don't remember where, but, um, let's get this pivot loosened there. No, uh, just a little bit of Loctite on there. Uh, nothing. Uh, okay, so when I did that, the backspacer and... Oh, look at that. The backspacer and the uh, pocket clipper one. I really like that design. And let's be careful here when I pop this apart. I don't want shit to go flying on me. That little bit of Loctite has things uh, not wanting to come apart. Let's try. 
maybe I just need to try to punch the pivot out a little bit to get that. Yep, that's all it took. Nope, still fighting me. Do I need to just punch it out a little bit more? Maybe so. Okay, well now the knife is apart. Bearings are falling apart. But this does not want to come apart. It's The stop pin is what... Uh... Yeah, look at that. Okay, well... Alright, this is going to be interesting to reseat. It looks like that needs to be captured there some, somewhat. Um, before I get going too far, let's see how that... There we go. Alright, I got that pivot popped back in there. Yeah, that's tight. And look, at you can see the machine marks in there. Um... Well, okay, here's something weird. This says born on date four or five nineteen twenty two, but then on the inside of there it says four twenty two. Which is it, tactile? I don't know. Um, I gotta assume that uh, so this is a liner lock. Is that a steel li yep, it's a steel uh inset uh liner on there. Uh which makes sense that uh, it is it looks like if i wanted to take that off i could there's a little uh slotted screw there but yeah that's weird that it, that says 422 but the uh, card of authenticity says may 19th so maybe just the final assembly uh was 519 but um very 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 basic again like most knives are people get intimidated intimidated by it and uh, there's no need to. But uh, I'm going to give this a little uh, spritz down here with some uh, rubbing alcohol. And, um, yeah, you know what? Let me just pop that pivot out so I can... Uh, I can't tell... No, no washers in there. Nope, no washers. And uh, it's a little stiff, so I'm just using these little uh, channel locks to... Uh, move the pivot around it looks like i don't know if the pivot and the pivot barrel are one but it does appear to be so i'm not going to try to take that off there i uh, got alcohol still on my uh, cloth there so i'm just going to wipe that down uh, wipe the blade down and yeah like i said this is my first go around with magna cut uh, i haven't done any hard use with this yet but um, we shall see how time goes with that. And I guess you probably could change out those thumb studs if you want. Uh, someone was asking that recently. I don't remember where, but, um, you know, a little uh, pair of pliers like this. I would put something on there so I don't mar them. But, uh, yeah. But I don't have any intention to because I want to keep my knife cooler than cue balls. So... Uh, these uh, OEM bearings are going to get put to the side, and we're going to use these Skiff Rocket Glides in here. I'm going to use some KPL to uh, just a little dab there. Put that on there like so. Uh, now I am going to put just a little dab of kpl heavy on the tent ball and um on there i'll just stick that through there little schmear little schmear um and then just a, well you know what i'm just going to smear that around on the blade there that's all that needs uh pop the blade back on now that is all good to go. Uh, put the bearing on there. Put a little bit of lubrication on there. I didn't think I lubed the bearing there. I just lubed the underside. That's good there. All right. Now we are ready for final assembly. Um, how did that backspacer go on there? Did it go on like... Like so. Yes, it did. I don't know how I'm going to index that to 
make that stay together, but I will figure that out somehow. So, uh, how will I do that? How about, um, aha, I know. Let me pop that apart again. Aha. I know what I will do. I will get it started by putting in, um, yeah, I'm going to put one screw in is all. No, nope, I'll put them both in and then uh, seat it. How about that? See if that works. Oh, that means I have to slide it in the underside there. Eh, that didn't work. It's a little tricky to take apart, but not too bad. I think, uh, there. Boom, look at that. So, uh, before... I'm just going to get those just a little started, just to make sure it's captured. And, um, nothing fell out. So, I will put the... I don't... I'm out of Loctite, and I'm going to order some Vibratite. Um, I'll do that at another, uh, point in time. But, let's see, is that... Why is that not, uh... Wanting to... There we go. There she goes. Alright. Um, now I will... Tighten down... The body screws. And now we will adjust uh, the pivot to center it up. Something's off because it's not centered at all now. There we go. Let's see how that works. Nope. Okay. Wow. Um. Holy crap. Well, it's not tight enough. Now that's too tight. Um, this became a guillotine with uh, these skips in there. Look at that. For such a small blade, this thing has become a guillotine. The, uh, still centered. No blade play. Look at that. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, that wasn't like that before. I don't know if it had to do with just the, the lube or the uh, skips are doing that much better of a job, but holy crap. Uh, Lockup is solid. Look at that, man. Holy moly. Uh, Skips did an amazing job. The Skips and that KPL, I'm just going to try to give micro adjustments there. No blade play. Wow. Listen to that thing just fire out, too. And I can middle finger flick it. Yeah, holy crap just bit me yeah um little bit of maintenance on this thing and holy crap uh that's pretty that's pretty awesome i could probably still even go a little bit tighter i don't need it to be a guillotine yeah there we go that's perfect right there i don't need it to be a, a complete uh guillotine um, that is exactly where I want it, uh, centered exactly where I need it. Nope, maybe I'm going to back it off just a skosh, a nano skosh. Yeah, man. See, a little bit of a TLC can go a long way. This knife was fine out of the box, but, uh, I don't know, like I keep saying, if the skiffs did that, or just a little uh, lubrication uh, did that, but uh, this knife is dope. And uh, yeah, look at the attention to detail that they do with the milling. Oh, um, I brought this out as well. So same company, um, sister company, I believe. Uh, this is Tactile Turn. This is the uh, mini uh, bolt action. 
very, very, very similar uh, milling. Yeah. So uh, these, this is also uh, made in Texas. I believe they're doing everything in the same place. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed with this thing. Um, I know that they had the flipper, I think, in 20 CV. And the flipper, um, I think, has loose bearings in it, if I remember correctly. You can't put skiffs in there. Um, the, the skiffs were only for the uh, thumb stud. And I, would, I wanted the thumb stud over the uh, flipper anyway. That's amazing that a knife this small can be that smooth. No, tiniest little bit of blade play. Yeah, that's gone. Centered. This is a really nice knife, and I believe it is... Actually, pause for a second. So, I was just uh, double-checking the prices on these. Uh, in the plain Jane configuration, the less cool one like Cue Ball's got, uh, they are $2.99. I think that this, uh, the, the Zerk Studs, added another $20 to it was all. Um, I paid $3.20 for this at uh, Blade Show. I think that's what I paid. Sun's getting bright, so I apologize about the lighting there, folks. It's uh, kind of taking a glare. At least that's what I see on my monitor. But yeah, so uh, this is a $300 knife, guys. And I get that that's a lot, but this is a U.S.-made full titanium uh, Magna Cut. Um, again, uh, Ergos are, for such a small knife, I'm totally able to get a, you know, a really good grip on there. The jimping is perfect. It could go forward. You're, I think you're always going to hear me complain that jimping never goes far forward enough. And that's just because of my stupid big thumbs. I would like to have jimping, you know, up to there maybe a little bit. But uh, this suits me well. And um, yeah, just the tiniest little blade play there. If... There, it's gone now. Um, but uh, like I said, this knife punches above its size. It's a tiny little knife. Uh, let's see, for comparison, um, I just got done doing my... Uh, Necronauts. No, my Abyss. So, you see there, uh, it, it is a small knife. What are the specs on this? So specs on this, I uh, probably can't see that. Uh, it is a 2.84 inch blade is all. So it's sub three inch blade, uh, f seven inch overall, uh, four inch closed. So I'm gonna assume that means that that's just a four inch uh, handle on there. But uh, yeah, um, just like I pointed out, uh, so the specs are seven inch overall length, four inch closed length, 2.84 inch blade. Uh, 61, 60 to 60 HRC, all T8 hardware, flat grind, inset liner lock, stainless steel lock insert, stainless steel clip, titanium backspacer, ceramic detent ball, ceramic ceramic pivot, uh, or ball bearings. So I guess the pocket clip is stainless steel as well. But uh, I got nothing but good things to say about this little guy. Um, I love it. And I love pairing it with uh, the bolt action pen that's some good titanium tuesday uh action going on there but that's all i got for you guys uh let me know what you think um interested to see how this magna cut uh holds up how long before i haven't stropped this thing or anything yet so oh that's the other thing a very nice easy access to the uh liner lock um it, it's got a little bit of jimping on there um and this thing keeps biting me now that it's a complete dropper. 
yeah. But what do you guys think? Like to know your opinions. And in the meantime, that's all I got for you. Appreciate everyone tuning in. I got another couple uh, knife maintenance videos that I'm going to record here. In the meantime, I will talk to you all later. Deuces. Deuces.